Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this scenario, this tutorial, I am going to discuss how we capture the videos regard, execution regarding using the playwrights. Okay, so let me now start. Uh, now here you can see I have a small uh, a framework like where I have added the test cases, one scenario, just a login scenario. And uh, here, uh, like uh, this uh, framework I have designed uh, in the BDT format using Cucumber. You can see here one scenario, okay? So at back end, I have written here the step definition. You can see here the pages file, as well as there is a hook, okay? Uh, so hook will automatically ex start the, ex uh, automatically call when we run our test script, okay? So if you want to execute this test, just run the NPM test, okay? And this will run the, test scenario. It's open the URL, then enter the username, password, and click on login button. And now if I want to regard the video, then uh, we need to add here under the uh, global browser dot new context. Here we need to pass the video directory. Direct, direct. So we need to call regard video, then colon like this, okay? And here we, we need to pass the directory. Like I'm going to giving the video directory, this one. Okay, so if I run this test, then uh, the test will art, re, video will automatically regard and store under this uh, test. Okay, so let me run. Okay, so now you can see this is running and enter the username and login. Okay, and under the video folder, you can see one folder is created here. If I go to the file, okay, here you can see video, you can see some random name, and you, we can execute this, run play this video. And you can see here, uh, admin is login. Okay, click on login button. So if we are using this uh, approach, right, we can add here uh, in the hook. Okay, we can add because this this before will execute each and every scenarios, right? So that's why we need to run add here. So it will automatically regard the video. And when the browser global dot page dot close will call after the scenario, then it will create a video. Okay, and now next. Uh, if you want to suppose that run with two data, then how this will work? Let me add here one more data. Okay, so now this scenario will execute two times. Like suppose that this is admin one user. And uh, let me delete this video. Okay, now I'm going to run again. And in that, this case, this will execute two times and the video, uh, two videos will capture for each and every scenario outline data one execution now it is exec started the execution again and uh, for the next test data admin one and here you can see the two videos are generated okay now here one more things we need to uh, because here you are you can see these are coming as a random name okay so name is uh, generated the videos with dynamic name Okay, uh, but how we uh, rename this video after the execution when the video is generated, how we customize the 
name how we give the user defined name okay so let me do that so in the hook we can add uh, some function okay uh, first of all uh, we need to uh, add the fs module okay we can create a ob like object fs we can import here require and then fs okay so if this module is not installed in your system just run npm install fs and then save hyphen run this so this will automatically install and add in your package.json file okay once this is installed now import this okay and write the code under the after scenario section so pass here the scenario okay using this scenario we can get runtime the scenario name okay first of all i need to capture what is the scenario what is the video name right when it generate the current video what is the video name so if we will find the video name at runtime then we can rename after generate so let me create a uh, capture the name this is video name await page dot video dot path so this method will return the path of video if you want to check this we can add here console dot log okay video path okay let me run and you can see one one test data i am going to run npm test so now this code give us the video name okay you can see this is the path and this is the new video which is generated now uh, we are able to get the path video path where video is generated with the video name so now our next steps how we rename this right so we can also get the scenario name because if we will create the video by using the scenario name then we can logically relate that video and we can identify which video is related to which scenario so let me show you how we get the scenario name at runtime so scenario dot pickle dot name so if i use this right so this will return as the scenario name current scenario name so what is the scenario name if i go here scenario name is login to the application let me run and show you okay you can say scenario name is also printed here scenario log into the application so now next uh, we need to uh, like uh, uh, rename the file so okay so we uh, know the video current recent generated video name so we can call fs dot rename we will call here first video name okay so this is the first name first current name and the what name we are going to rename so this is the videos path and then i need to rename with scenario name right so let me pass this plus so its extension is dot wave m right so i i will put this one and uh, if this is successfully created i will add here 
some messages. Okay, so console dot rename. Okay, so there are two brackets. One is started from here, one is started from here. So both bracket is closed. Now in this case, this will rename, but when it generate the video, right? So soon as uh, we need some few second delay to rename. So let me add here uh, some uh, delay. So we can add. Three second delay I have added. Okay, so now let me run. So here out is small letter. Okay, so now you can see here video is automatically renamed. Let me run again and show you deleted all the videos and running again. Yeah, video is renamed. Okay, now next, uh, currently I am passing one test data. So this is creating the video using this scenario. Now, what will happen if we have multiple setup data, right? If we are running the scenario outline with multiple setup data, so what will happen? How many videos it will generate and what challenges we will face? So running the test, first test is run, okay? It is uh, rename the scenario video here, okay? One video is here, now it will again run. Okay, if I rename this video, because both name is same, right? So this will override. So what we need to do, we need to uh, get both videos, right? Otherwise we will not able to identify like which video is uh, related to which test data. So how we change the scenario name at runtime. So we can add here the scenario name, login to the application using user. Okay, and here we can pass the user data, this one. This key we can pass along with the scenario. Now, if I run this test, then scenario will uh, scenario name will change the dynamically as per the test data. So, running the test, and now you will see the two video will generate. Let me delete this one. So now you will see two videos which gen generate. One is the by using login to the application using user admin. Second is the login to the application user using the admin one. 
you can see admin and second will be admin one admin one let me show you the video and um, here so you can see admin one as well as the admin so both videos generated so in that way we can capture the video in the playwright at runtime okay thanks for watching the video